Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's Bendy and the Ink Machine video, we take a look at a brand new screenshot for Bendy Chapter 5 that were released on the game's official Twitter page. This exciting glimpse into Chapter 5 contains much to analyse and may confirm some of our previous theories about the mysterious studio owner, Joey Drew. So let's get started. The screenshot appears to be taken from outside of Joey Drew's very own office and seems to be located in the same area we caught a look at in the Chapter 5 reveal trailer. This is something I predicted in my trailer analysis video, that these offices look more senior than those found in the rest of the building and this was likely where the higher ups at the studio resided. This image seems to confirm that. Now if we look at the sign above the door, it states Office of Joey Drew, and the O has a star in the middle. This is another sign that Joey's ego was massive. He believes he is the star of the show, always trying to steal the spotlight for himself. At least it seems that way from his audio logs and the way others, most notably Bertram Piedmont, another egotistical character at the studio, spoke of him. The ever tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie, like I was his child. You may be paying me, Mr. Drew, but you don't own me. So this sign only further adds to the negative image we have of Joey Drew. Notice the curtains either side of the doorway too. It seems as though Joey liked to keep himself hidden away from prying eyes. He was a secretive character who obviously valued his privacy. Now it should be noted that much of his secrecy may have been born out of Joey's nefarious project, the Ink Machine, and the ritual based around it. Joey has been trying to appease the gods, as explained by Wally Franks way back in Bendy Chapter 1. Also, get this. Joey had each one of us donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room. To help appease the gods, Joey said. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind. We see signs of demonic cult-like rituals throughout many levels of the studio. If Joey was involved in these kinds of practices, it is likely he researched them from his office, and so he'd want to keep a low profile. But we should also remember that Mr. Drew seemed like quite an unstable character. He had pipes built throughout the entire studio to power his ink machine, upsetting his staff in the process. So first, Joey installs this ink machine over our heads, then it begins to leak. Three times last month we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell. And we assume he began experimenting on these workers, transforming them into inky humanoids and cartoon characters along the way. So he probably has a few screws loose, and it's not hard to imagine him slowly losing his mind, consumed by his research into the occult from the confines of this office. Locked away and isolated for long periods of time, recording all those fake motivational speeches, while all the time resenting the people they were aimed at. You just have to believe in yourself, and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop right there. I can only do so many takes in this trash a day. While we're on the subject of Joey's crazy research and human experimentation, look to the right and we can see a group of handprints. I've spoken about these handprints in previous videos. I believe them to be evidence of Joey's human experimentation as he got closer and closer to turning workers into living cartoons rather than the early attempts which resulted in these guys, which he eventually achieved judging by the Boris clones. So it makes sense this research would be found right next to Joey's office. The final question raised by the tweet itself is, will we actually get to meet Joey in person? The tweet states it's time to meet the boss, which implies we will meet Joey inside this office, and that means our theories about Joey being bendy must be incorrect. Well, maybe not. I feel like this tweet wants us to believe we will meet Joey within the office, but in actual fact, I believe whatever is behind this door will instead inform us as to what exactly happened to Henry's old pal Joey. I still stand behind my theory that Joey Drew is indeed Bendy himself. 
Now I won't go over why, as I've talked about it in many videos before, so feel free to check them out for an in-depth discussion. However, in the case of this image, we have several clues that suggest Joey may have befallen an inky fate. The most obvious being the giant puddle of ink collecting from underneath the doorframe itself. This suggests a transformation has taken place within this room, or at the very least, an inky creature has been inside it. Couple that with the fact that we have a poster of Bendy's hand on the left of the doorway, and then a collection of handprints which seem to be from Joey's human experimentation on the right, and it starts pointing to one logical conclusion. Joey Drew, the person who seemingly stole Henry's creation Bendy, then started turning workers into living cartoons and eventually became a twisted demonic version of his own co-creation Bendy. And the tweet itself has the hashtag FightYourDemon, which could imply Henry's true demon is Joey Drew, or something that happened between them long ago. Perhaps one of my previous theories could be correct then, that the reason Henry left the studio so many years ago was not simply because he grew tired of Joey, but because he did something bad to him. Perhaps an accident that caused Joey to become wheelchair bound, hence the importance of the wheelchair flashback. The reason Bendy has a limp, and the reason why confronting Bendy is Henry not only confronting a literal demon, but also a metaphorical one that has haunted his past. Either way, this image has given us much to think on, and with the release of Chapter 5 coming very soon, it's not long until we have the answers we crave. In the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments section below. And that's it for today's video, please remember to give it a like if you did enjoy watching, and maybe drop a comment too, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you never miss an upload. This channel specialises in variety horror content, including creepypasta readings, horror gaming facts and theories, and general interest pop culture horror videos. So, if you're interested in all things spooky, you'll find something to enjoy here at Super Horror Bro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.